I've got my table saw torn apart right now and I'm getting ready to put it back together. I've been working on a chute for my dust collection system here. Now, I wasn't originally going to make a video of the build. Obviously, I didn't because it's about 90% complete. But I wanted to just kind of introduce material and maybe someone else has already beat me to this, but I was looking around for some sheet material and I happened to have a few pieces of this corrugated plastic material. And I thought, well, there's no real good reason why that wouldn't work. I didn't have any quarter inch plywood or any other sheet material around here to build this out of. The other thing that I did have that I kind of ruled out right away was this foam line or this foam cord poster board. I don't think that's going to work for a project like this. But this corrugated plastic worked out really well. It's easy to cut with a razor blade. It bends, it holds its shape. The only thing I had to contend with is on my table saw setup, I have a little trolley that I use to move this thing around the shop. So when this trolley is set to, to where it won't move, that handle kind of sticks up and I want to make sure that that handle didn't hit the bottom of the chute. So I've got that all complete. This is the back side of it. I've cannibalized another piece off of the old vacuum that I had, the old shop vac, and that's going to go right in, in that hole there and the vacuum hose will, will attach right in, in there. I don't have any dimensions on this because I think everybody's stand is going to be a slightly different. This is off of a Delta 10 inch table saw, kind of a work site saw. I'm going to show you some details on the inside, just how I pieced everything together, and then we'll uh, get this thing back together. Here's a quick look at the inside of this chute for my dust collection on my table saw. Down in the bottom you can see that hole that's going to accept that fitting for the exhaust hose or the vacuum hose. In the bottom I've just got a piece of particle board. You could use plywood, MDF, anything along those lines would be just fine. For the sides, I've built a little miniature version here to kind of show you what I've done. This angle here represents this angle here. So that piece matches up inside of this angle iron here. And that line going across represents where the bend is. So I didn't need to come up with any kind of a hinge system. I just bent this square to the edge and then I was able to form this the way it needed to be. I've also drawn a, line, drawn a line here to indicate this is the, the direction that those ribs travel the, in that car, corrugated fashion. So that gives it quite a bit of strength. In the corners I've just got some old scraps that I've found in around here. They're half by three quarter or kind of random. On the tops I didn't get crazy with angles and try and figure all this out. I just nipped away enough that when I brought the other side piece up here and, and with that bend it wouldn't interfere with the wood. And to fasten all the sides together I just use these big pan head, they're called self drilling lathe screws. And the reason I pick those even though they are from metal is that they've got this great big pan head on there which helps kind of squeeze this corrugated plastic and hold it in place. When I put this together on these sides, I didn't put any silicone or any foam tape in here where the two panels meet up or even where the bottom shows up. One of the things I have to contend with is after the chute is all installed, I need to be able to get to these holes and they're on the inside. These holes are part of the mounting system for the actual table saw. So I'm going to have to undo one of these side panels so I can reach up in there and put the bolts and the nuts all together and secure everything. I don't know that it's going to be a problem. might be, but it's probably going to be negligible. So the table saw is back together. Got the dust collection chute all buttoned up. Hooked it up to my dust collector, aka shop vac. And I took it for a quick test drive. And I've still got some work to do. I'm getting a lot of sawdust coming out of the front of this thing. So I think it's coming out of them great big holes right there and i got to figure out a way to plug them up. But I think I've done enough for today. So thanks for watching.